do I have in the studio with me? Sorry. Uh, Tia Torres. Well, hi, Tia Torres. Thank you so very much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast live on a global platform. Oh, hi. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know where you were. Now I know. You're in Texas. You're almost right next door to us. Uh, that's correct. We're going to talk about where you are because you're in my home state. I want my audience to know that Animal Planet, Pitbulls, and Paroli star Tia Torres, she's live on location. Uh, and I'm going to say this. I'm not sure. This is a Villa Losa or Villa Bosa? Which one? Yeah, you can, it's Villa Lobos, or if you speak Spanish, it's Villa Lobos. <laughs> Ooh, I like <laughs> Villa Lobos. Fine. That's a lot easier. Okay. Rescue Center in New Orleans. Okay. It's the largest pit bull rescue center in the United States. Tia, congratulations on that. Well, you know, I don't know if being able to say we're the largest pit bull rescue is something to be congratulated for, because I, I, you know, my, my phrase is, we are the largest pit bull rescue in the country, unfortunately. Because well, I don't so want to be the largest pit bull rescue. I can understand <laughs> you know, that. But, sad. you know, it's one of those things that somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to care. And it seems like when I watch you on Animal Planet, you care in so many dimensions about what you do. Well, you know, the thing is that there are so many other great rescues out in this country. And there, there's so many people out there that are doing the exact same kind of work we're doing. The exact. Uh, they're out in the trenches just like us. We just got lucky and Animal Planet, you know, heard our story and put us on TV and we were able to use the show to put the pit bull dog in a better light to show um, the other side of what a lot of the, a lot of what society portrays them as. So um, I want to say that although these other rescue groups and shelters may not have their own TV show, I'm, I'm hoping that we were at least able to pave the way for them and maybe make adoptions um, you know, easier for them when it comes to pit bulls. In 2012, did you relocate to where you were? So previously you were somewhere else and this is a relocation for you? Yes, we started moving to Louisiana in 2011 and um, we, it, it was a year long process. Um, I was the last one to get here um, with the last 50 dogs. Um, I landed here in New Orleans January 1st, 2012 from um, the Los Angeles area uh, in California. And today you're live from that location. Louisiana is a beautiful place. It really is. It's very... Um... Yeah, we love it. We love it. Oh, love I'm, it, love it, love it. I mean, I'm so glad to hear you say great. that. Yeah. We, you know, and we don't just have a facility in New Orleans now. We have other satellite facilities um, out in more rural areas. And um, so we, we now kind of have like a, a, we don't just say we're from New Orleans anymore, we have like a South Louisiana location because we do have other locations. What type of work, and I know rescue work, what does it mean when you do rescue work with, with any kind of animal? Well, we're talking, we're talking about well, pit bulls, but what does rescue mean? Right. Well, everybody has their own interpretation of what they consider doing a rescue. For us, it's, it's starting at the beginning and seeing it all the way through. And, and starting from the beginning is, getting that dog from whatever situation it's in, um, medically getting it up to par, um, behaviorally assessing it properly, um, putting it in a safe and happy environment, um, making sure that the animal you know, and, and, and adopter match up right so that it is a lifelong commitment. But if it doesn't work out, is committing to that dog. You know, we say it once a Villa Lobos dog, always a Villa Lobos dog. We will take our dog back 10 years later. And we've had that happen where someone adopted a dog from us and 10 years later, um, a tragedy happened with the family and we took our dog back 10 years later. So that is our interpretation of what full rescue is. Um, you've teamed you know, up with the ASPCA. Medically... I'm sorry, you've teamed up with the ASPCA. No, go ahead. Uh, ASPCA and the An and Animal Planet, you guys have teamed up to ama to showcase amazing shelter dogs. Is that correct? Um, yes, the ASPCA, Animal Planet, and Pitbulls and Parolees want to promote animal shelters and rescues all over the country. There are, and this is just something new I came up with today, the dog of your dreams is absolutely in an animal shelter or a rescue somewhere out there. Every breed, every size, every personality, every behavior you want is out there somewhere. And, um, you know, we just want people to know that. Um, 
you know, we have a little promotion that we're doing for this Saturday's episode. Um, if you go to ASPCA.org slash my rescue dog, and you can submit a photo of your rescue dog. And um, we'll do our best to get as many photos as we can on this Saturday's episode. Well, that's exciting. Gina Torres, I know you're busy, so I'm going to let you go, but I want to thank you for taking the time to talk with me about what you do. And it really is good to connect the TV star with a little bit of reality. So thanks for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Thank you, Velder.